Hey everyone, Sheila here from Life of Pets. So as I have been going on over the last few weeks, we have got two new betta fish and so we decided that we would give them a new look in the divided tank because that's the tank that they're going into. As you can see, this tank here is how it did look when we previously set it up and then this is the jungle it became. Very often people will say to us, why do you only plant it so lightly? And it's because the plants grow like crazy. And I will actually show you that later in the video, the root growth and what actually came out of this tank. So we did start off with it completely empty. There are still a few shrimp in here. We just literally couldn't catch them all. It actually took about two hours to empty the tank completely. And so we did end up leaving a few shrimp in. We have decided to keep the same background simply because we like it so much. And I will leave links to everything in the description box below if you wanna take a look at anything. For those of you that are new here, the tank size is a 10 gallon and the dividers are actually made by us and you can buy them on our website. Again, link in the description box below. So this time we decided to try something a little different different and that was to thread the guppy grass through the holes. In this tank we have always used the divider with holes and this divider actually has been in this tank for almost two years now. So you can see it is looking a little on the algae side but we do give it a quick clean and then just put it straight back in. But we decided that we would thread guppy grass through and we're going to attempt to see if we can do some sort of guppy grass wall on the divider and we've never tried anything like this before so we'll just wait and see if it works out or whether it doesn't. It might be a complete fail but we decided that we'd give it a go. It does look a little funny at the moment in the tank I have to say. I'm not over keen on how it looks but I'm hoping if what I sort of vision it to look like once it starts growing and we can trim it then hopefully it will look great. The plants that we did use in this tank are Anubius and obviously like I said the guppy grass and we did use the large crypts again. I think the tank is looking really good. The big crypt plant we get asked a lot about those and that is this one here. We bought two of these probably about a year ago and every time we have done a makeover on this tank we end up pulling it out, we get crazy growth on it and then we end up putting back sort of a few pieces and as you can see there is a fair bit of plant gone back in here but just look at how much we've got left over. We have still got all this left over and we did this about six, eight months ago and we had an awful lot left over then that we actually put into our 75 gallon tank. And as you can see, it has taken off in here as well. So we're gonna add those pieces into this one and see just what growth we get. We are actually hoping to upgrade this tank at the end of this year, maybe beginning of next year, so we will need some more plants. So as you can see, this plant grows like crazy and we started off with just two of them and now we've got all this in here, what you've just seen in the divided tank, what's left over from the divided tank and we do also have a really large one as well in our, our 20 gallon long. So having messed up obviously the substrate a great deal and then putting these plants in, we then need to add in root tabs and so we're gonna use these vital root tabs. These are what we use in all our tanks and we find that we do get a lot of really good growth with them. Uh, we do sell them on our website and all you will do is just put in this aquarium, we would just put between two and three, but because we've only got sort of the three planted plants in here, then we're just gonna put um, two in here this time. So, cause the one that's gone in here, the roots from that plant can share them. And then this one in here, and obviously there's only the one as well. We have found with this plant, it basically ends up going right through the whole aquarium from front to back. The root system gets absolutely crazy. So this tank is finished now and we are happy with the way that it looks. So for filtration in the tank, we have actually done a sponge filter on this side, just a small one. 
and then on this side we have done a DIY filter and I'm not sure if you can see it so let me move around here that's what it looks like if you're interested in how this one works and how we set it up we do have a video coming out in the next week or two uh, we do have a video out on it which I can leave in the little i cards but we've actually done a much updated video uh, talking about it much more in depth due to how popular it's been and all the questions that we've received on it so we are very very happy with the way this tank looks and I do think that our new beta fish are going to like it two things I realized I did not mention is when you are filling the tank back up make sure that you use water conditioner so that it takes all the uh, chlorine and chloramines out of the water also you will not see a heater in this tank and that is because at the moment we don't need one however if you cannot keep a consistent temperature of 78 degrees and above then you do need a heater in the tank so i just wanted to put that out there they're not things that we forgot to do we just actually didn't show it in the video and like i say with the heater um we don't actually need one so just bear that in mind if you do have beta fish the tank is ready to go and add the new beta fish that will be our next video and I will be telling you the story of how they came about specifically one of them and that will be next week's video so if you're not subscribed to this channel and you want to see more videos like this then go ahead and do so also don't forget to turn on your notifications all right guys thanks for watching thank you so much for supporting the channel and we'll see you next time